Hey guys, so something happened <laughs> in the last, I don't know, yesterday or the day before that. Um, I accidentally deleted all the footage of me setting up my spreads for this week. <laughs> yep, and I can't get that footage back, so <laughs> basically I had nothing to upload this week. So I decided to film some different kind of videos uh, today for this week. So I still have some stuff. So I want to talk about something that I do as a college student in my planner. So the first part of my planner is the Boho Stargazer um, 18 month planner and I have July, August and September in here and I use this part solely for university and um, university tasks and exams and stuff like that but the system that I was using before I started this planner was the Adastair method I don't know if you've heard about that, <laughs> but it's kind of a way to track your tasks um, and then like, you know, you can decide on which day you want to do which task and then um, if you didn't get around to do it, you just like mark it to transfer it to the next day or like the day that um, you would want to do that. So that is something that was also always on a piece of paper where I would list my tasks and then here would say like Monday through Sunday and then I would mark which task on which day. But the thing is that is something that you can't really do like in a vertical planner because, well, Maybe you could put the tasks on the sidebar, but only like a dot on a day would be like weird. So the solution that I came up with for like a way to still be able to use that system is I bought these two. These two came in a set. These are um, wet erase boards. So I bought this set of the race boards and this is like a student edition so it fits perfectly and the first one came with like this it says projects and assignments to read tests and exams upcoming stuff so it's kind of like really structured and then on the other side it's just a notes page and then it came with the second one this has like these two columns that I don't really use I don't really use this side but on the other side, there is like this list for your tasks. And on the right side, it had like this empty space. So I thought, you know, this would be like perfect because I could like write my tasks on the left side and create the Alistair method on the right side. So this is exactly what I did. So like now that you see it, I can maybe better explain how this works so on the left side you just write down all the tasks that you wanna like do this week so i listed all the like practice questions that i want to do for as my exam preparation so now that i listed all of these um, i have on the right side the week from monday Sunday and I also have a column for like migrating stuff to the next week so what I do is I write down all of my tasks and then I decide on Sunday or Monday whenever I have the time to do it I decide on which day of the week I would like to get these things done and so I if I know on which day I would put a dot on like the day. So let me just demonstrate it. If I can find my pen, where is it? I found it. So 
let's just say um, practice question three. <laughs> okay, so I have my task, so I know I have to get this done. So let, let's say I decide I want to get this done right on Monday. So I would like mark this task for Monday. Monday, if I sit down and want to know what I have to do, I would like, I just look at the Monday column and see what kind of tasks have a dot. All those tasks are going on my weekly spread for that day. So let's say it's now the end of Monday. So I had this task to do on Monday, but let's say I didn't get around to do it because I don't know, <laughs> I slept the whole day. I wish, but you know, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do it. So what I would do, okay, I see I should have done this today. I didn't get around to do it. So let's say I am really busy on Tuesday and I know I wouldn't have the time to do it on Tuesday. So maybe I know on Thursday I have a lot of time to do it. So I would mark it as like, you know, migrating, like it is migrated to another day. And then I put the dot over on Thursday. So uh, on Tuesday, I would come to my list and see what is marked for Tuesday and so on. And once uh, it is Thursday and I did this task, I would just cross it off and I would also like put a check mark on here. I would usually not do this like in my bullet journal when I did this, <laughs> there was like no place for a check mark. It is totally enough to only check it up here because you see what kind of tasks are like already like crossed out and you also see which tasks are like migrated to another day and if it's like Sunday and there are still tasks that I didn't do uh, like practice question four maybe I want to do it on Monday but then I didn't then I wanted to do it on Thursday and then I didn't and then I wanted to do it on Sunday and it's Sunday evening and I didn't do it <laughs> I would like um, you know, I would put a dot in the last column and that indicates that I would have to move it I would have to move it to the next week so once the week is over and I'm ready to plan my list again every task that is marked in this column stays on the left side I would not like wipe it off all the stuff that got done can like be wiped off uh, because it is a red, red erase bot, I can just wipe it up with like a wet like paper towel. So I wipe all the stuff off on the left side that is done. You can also like see it on like which ones are like checked. So those are done and I don't need them on my list anymore. And all the stuff that is not done that is going to be like transferred to next week stays on this list. And then I also like wipe down all the, the crosses and arrows on here, like the grid stays on here and also like the letters for the days also stay. But I like wipe down all of these like marks. So then I have like a new week, you know, and I can put my new tasks and mark them. So what I did, so the thing is like, it's kind of tedious to like, if you want to remove all of these marks and if you try to like wipe it down with like a wet paper towel or whatever, and all of your lines are just like getting messed up because you can't really get here. Like it's a very small area. So it's kind of hard to only like um, wipe this part <laughs> and not the lines around it so what I actually did so that doesn't that wouldn't 
happen anymore because that happened to me a lot is I actually used another kind of pen for the lines if I can find it I am clearly not well prepared for this video <laughs> so I use this pen for the tasks and the marks and this is from Stettler and it's non-permanent it's a water soluble um, pen so I can just wipe it down with a wet paper towel but for the for the lines and for the letters of the week I actually use this permanent marker so this is from Faber Castell and it also has like a very kind of fine tip and I use this to do the lines so every time I have to like wipe down like a cross or whatever I'm not wiping all of the lines because it is like pain in the ass to, <laughs> to draw these lines every time every week so I'm not doing that so every time I wipe it down with a wet paper towel um, the permanent marker just stays but this pen has an eraser so I can erase the lines if I want to if I um, if I want to use this wet erase board for something else for example I could wipe down all the lines and all the letters of the days but it just wouldn't like budge if I wipe like the markings and the tasks so this is basically how I plan my stuff because it, it would happen to me a lot that I would like write on my weekly what I want to do at any given day and then I wouldn't get around to do it and then I would have to like migrate it to the next day and then the next day and the next day and writing the same task all over like multiple times a week is just you know first of all it's just tedious and second of all it is really not that great for my you know like self-confidence <laughs> like in my my you know my mental health because i feel like i'm not getting done anything and that may be true but reinforcing that mindset is not doing me any good so i only use this one for that and only write down tasks that i like marked for a specific day so this is basically what I wanted to cover in this video. I am also going to do a video on this mess here <laughs> because this is my exam prep plan and I wanted to make a video on how to plan your exam preparations because that's kind of that's kind of important I would say. So yeah, uh, I hope you like this video and I hope I told you something useful that you could maybe use in your own life you might not have to like even do this only for like university you could do this like in like just for your normal tasks like daily tasks um this is not only for college students uh, it could be used for anything so maybe even if you're not a college student or don't have any university assignments you could still use this um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was kind of valuable <laughs> uh, and if you liked it, maybe consider uh, leaving a thumbs up, that would help me a lot and also subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me and thank you for watching, have a nice day and bye!